SanDisk SD cards. There's something quirky going on with one of these cards. I test these out in the camera and I do synthetic tests. Let's take a look. 128 gigabyte SanDisk Extreme SDXC UHS-1. These are important specifications up here. We've got the V30 and it claims 4K recording capable. Here's another one, SanDisk Ultra Plus UHS-1, but then it's V10. It says full HD video in this case. I'm still going to try and see if this does 4K. Let's pop these open, cut the top off, and split the two pieces of paper. Not the easiest thing. I've got a Rescue Pro in case your memory card gets messed up. It's very lightweight. It's got the Read Write Protect switch on there and this one comes with a case which is nice so you can keep the contacts cleaner notch on the side you're gonna pop it open like that so we've got the gold instead of the silver uhs1 that means they don't have the second row of pins like uhs2 cards have the theoretical maximum transfer speed of uhs1 cards is 104 megabytes a second which is consistent they're both meeting that specification but the actual text on here is saying 190 or 150 megabytes a second here's with ultra plus card maximum rate on the z5 okay so it hit the buffer now it's writing to the card. I'm gonna let go and then watch this little light on the side. Once that's dark, we'll know that it finished writing to the card. Here's the Extreme Plus. So it looks like the Extreme Plus is not showing to you. The Extreme Plus, we see that it is taking more photos to the buffer. Hit the buffer. I think the camera hit 100 photos, that's why it stopped in those situations. And it wrote to the card much faster, so there is a clear difference between the two cards on the Z5, which is not a fast camera, but still makes a difference. Let's go into video mode and select 4K. We'll do high quality on the Z5 with the Extreme Plus card which is claimed to be V30 capable, and it should be fast enough to not have an issue with this. It seems to be good. Let's try the Ultra Plus, see if it is capable. Ultra Plus is claimed to be 1080p, in this case, on the Z5 in 4K30 at the high quality setting. It seems all right, but it's really gonna depend. There might be situations where this doesn't record and it stops on you, but at least at the moment, it seems all right. On the computer, I use this Insignia DCR30D3K memory card reader. It's USB 3 with read speeds on these two cards. I was getting about the same. Write speeds also seemed very similar, copying it between the computer, which was a fast SSG drive, and these cards. So at the very least, with those consistent basic file transfers, not really noticing much of a difference between the two cards. From the camera to the computer, it was significantly slower than reading from the memory card readers and directly with the SD cards. So clearly that was no difference, but it was interesting to check out. One more test to do with the crystal disk mark on the Ultra Plus card. We can see, again, the limitation of UHS-1 speeds for these cards. Even the cheaper card is still hitting basically UHS-1. Write speeds are different here. You're getting around 50 megabytes a second. However, it seems consistent here. I did notice when using the camera, this card wasn't as fast getting photos written to it for some reason, even though it's still 50 megabytes a second. So we'll see. This extreme card, clearly there is something going on, at least with Crystal Disk Mark. It's not being consistent. It has lower write speeds than the Ultra Plus. And one of the tests didn't even show up here. So that's very odd. I'm going to reformat that card and see if there's any difference with this one more time. In this case, again, 23 megabytes a second, 22 megabytes a second. If you want the fastest read speeds possible, you're going to have to get a UHS-2 card. With writing speeds, look at the V ratings, but in this case, the V10 versus V30. In the Nikon Z5, the Extreme card did appear to be faster, but in the other tests, they're either the same or oddly in this crystal disc mark this one's less consistent why that's happening i'm not totally sure but all that said i think i'm going to get more of these ultra plus cards they're cheaper i think they just make more sense 
They are manufactured in different locations. That could potentially be a consideration. The Ultra Plus is Taiwan. The Extreme Plus is Malaysia. Maybe there's something different inside that makes the Extreme one less consistent, at least with all of my devices. Hope you found this information helpful in some way or at least interesting. Scott Photography Bonds, I see you.